All right, so we're gonna... <laughs> Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Today we're helping out with the Harvest Festival, Animal Crossing's version of Thanksgiving, where a human-sized turkey dodges being devoured by asking us to gather a bunch of ingredients for delicious dishes that don't involve eating him. So that's what we're gonna do. This takes place on the fourth Thursday of November from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m and we have to create four dishes. Each one has three normal ingredients and one secret ingredient. Now, the normal ingredients are mostly gonna involve things you can find around town like fruit and fish, but also some things you can't get the other times of the year like vinegar and milk. And to get that stuff, we have to trade with any villagers that happen to be home because those are the ones that will be asking for certain fish. And if we have those fish, then we can trade for that stuff or any ingredients we might be missing Otherwise, if we don't have it, like, ooh, there's a mushroom back here. But yeah, if you don't have all the stuff, don't worry, you can still try to complete this event. And your rewards for the dishes, if you complete a dish with the normal ingredients, you can get harvest furniture, which Timmy and Tommy have been selling all month long, so that's nothing too special. But if you use the secret ingredient, you can get a fruit basket, and if you complete all four of the dishes perfectly with secret ingredients, you can get a cornucopia. So not too many rewards compared to something like Halloween, but we're gonna give it a shot. Here is the man of the hour. We're matching with our chef hats. Hmm? You need something for me? Oh, you're the mayor, right? I'm the guy they call Franklin. Your secretary hired me to come and cook for everybody. After all, the big hubbub today is about celebrating the fall bounty. Today's the harvest festival. But here's the thing. I'm a bit short on ingredients. I think I would just whip up a mushroom salad. But we're celebrating the harvest here. It'd be nice to use some local fresh ingredients like some vinegar, a flat mushroom, and a round mushroom. As long as I had those, I imagine I'd be able to make something pretty great for the feast. All right, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna look for that stuff. I do have a flat mushroom. My other mushroom here is a skinny, but I do have a bunch of fish. I took a little time to try to go diving and fishing, grabbing some of the ingredients that I knew that we would need. And we're gonna start with Cranston here and see if he can trade us something. So a lot of the fish that they're gonna ask for are things like dabs, the sea bass, black bass, stuff like that that you would normally cook with. So it is good to have more of that stuff than some of the other ingredients. Today I'm not just gonna eat, I'm gonna try cooking too. Oh yeah, cool guy, do you have a horse mackerel? I really need that ingredient for the dish I'm making. Bring it to me and I'll give you something else in return, Newt Rules. So I do have one on me. Oh, did you bring me a horse mackerel? Here, take this. And if we're lucky, we will get one of the ingredients we need. Now you can look this stuff up, but when you're trading with the villagers, they'll probably give you a hint as to the secret ingredient. Awesome, thanks cool guy. This is a big help. Well in return, I'll give you my peach, enjoy it. Well, thanks for a fruit that we could have picked ourselves. <laughs> so if you don't have some of this stuff. Oh, hey, as a further thank you, let me give you some cooking advice for mushroom salad. Apples are a tasty addition. The crunchy texture pairs well with the mushrooms. Just give it a try, cool guy. I don't know how that would work in real life, but that is the secret ingredient. So now we know we need a round mushroom, vinegar, and an apple. And if you, you know, don't have certain fruit in your town, that's why he gave me a peach, but I think we've got every type of fruit that we could possibly need hanging on the Goostin trees here. So let's find another house. I saw Tangy walking around. So she's definitely not home but maybe Graham? Yep, he is. So yeah, that's the easy way to tell, is looking in their chimneys to see if any smoke is coming out. And that's how you know they're home. So Graham, my good buddy, man, his house is a mess. He's got, he's got an eel, a spaceship, and a bunch of cardboard boxes. Yay, it's the Harvest Festival today. It's my chance to show everybody I really know how to cook. Perhaps I should serve one of my favorite dishes today. Hmm, I guess I don't yet have a crucian carp. My dish won't be complete if I don't have it, Dingle Dong. You can bring it to me, I can give you another ingredient exchange, cool guy. So I have a normal carp, and I don't have a crucian carp, or at least I thought I had a normal carp around here somewhere. So I could try to catch one of those, but I'm gonna keep trying the villagers and just see if anybody else has the round mushroom and the vinegar I need. So it is a bit time consuming, especially for the rewards. I don't know if it's really worth jumping through all the hoops just to get those extra points for a cornucopia in your house, but I don't know, it's, it's kind of fun. It seems really involved for the amount of stuff that you get from it though, so it is a little strange. Ganon's not home. We only have eight villagers right now because I am planning on having more move in. So I have kind of let, it seems like less chances. They probably would still put as many villagers as you need in their houses, but 
at the same time, I, <laughs> I love how the little villagers are kind of dressed as sous chefs. I didn't notice that at first. It's finally here. The Harvest Festival is here. Time to start making food, right, Robert? I'll show you how manly cuisine is what all about. <laughs> a dish I'm working on could use a touch of carp. I gotta have that one special ingredient to make my cookie pop. Okay, so I do have a carp that is at my house. I have a big storeroom little folder, you know, filled with fish and other things. I didn't bother with the fruit because, as you can see, it's hanging all over the place. We could get an apple. There we go. Just grab one here. Might as well take all of them as long as we have the room. All right, so we're good on apples. We still need that vinegar and round mushrooms. So I'm gonna go grab some fish and we'll see if we can get some of that stuff that we need. All right, I grabbed both types of carp. Let's see what Graham has for us. Hmm, I don't seem to have a single Christian carp. My food isn't the same without it. Here you go, buddy. Fresh out of the river. And hopefully that will work for you. Mmm, yep, yep, that's it. This is exactly what I needed, Jingle Dong. Well, I should give you an ingredient as well. All right, here you go. It's some vinegar. Okay. So now all we need... Well, it's weird looking. All we need is... <laughs> Here's a smart piece of advice from Graham. Listen up, cool guy. If it's a mushroom salad you're making, try any chopped apple as a secret ingredient. It'll make things nice and crispy. This is not a very secret ingredient because all the villagers know it, except for my guy. Or you could just look on the internet and go on Nookopedia or something and learn this stuff, but... But yeah, the vinegar, I guess it does actually look like vinegar, but it was just kind of weird to see vinegar in Animal Crossing. A lot of this stuff, like I mentioned, you can't get otherwise, so it is very strange to see. So we're gonna head to Ribot's. Hopefully this carp is good enough for him to give me a round mushroom. He does kind of live in Mushroom Central. This is where I tend to find a lot of the mushrooms because there's stumps and, and stuff around the campsite. So let's see here. Come on, buddy. Step away from the strange machine. I know you gotta charge a... I know you brought me the carp I asked for, right? Sure, right here. Take it off my hands. It smells. There you go. <laughs> it's got a really creepy gyroid over there. All right, thank you. With this, I will concoct a mind-blowing dish. How about taking my round mushroom in return? So there we go. They are kind of giving us the stuff we need, and hopefully they'll give us more after this is over, this first dish. I feel like I should start a cooking workout show, my boy. I've got lots of good cooking advice. The best way to make mushroom salad is with some fresh crisp apples. You can beat, can't beat that crunchy apple texture, my boy. Okay, so he's saying my boy, which, which is what Elvis, my old cranky lion, used to say. So that's bringing me back to a couple years ago. But we got a new cranky villager, Ganon. He was walking around at the, uh, the bulletin board. Okay, so now we should have, yep, the flat mushroom, the apple, the vinegar, and the round mushroom. That's all we need for that mushroom salad. I think I got probably the worst first dish to get because I didn't have most of that stuff, especially the mushrooms. So it was a little rough, but here you go, Franklin. Everyone's just waiting to be fed. I, I want to mix up something nice like a mushroom salad. Some vinegar, flat mushroom, round mushroom. And then finally a secret ingredient. I can make the perfect ultimate mushroom salad. But it's not like I can really wander off from here. So how am I supposed to get all the ingredients? You can have this. Or I could say, I'm hungry. What? Did you bring me some ingredients? So I've got all of these. There you go. Oh, you can only choose three. Okay. And then we got to give them the secret ingredient separately. So there's the normal ingredients. There you go, buddy. Put it in your pocket. Okay. <laughs> there's a doggy bag. He's got to do them individually. I guess the vinegar, it did have its own thing, so I wonder why it was in a doggy bag there. Hey, hey, these are all nice, high-quality ingredients. There's no doubt I can make a fine mushroom salad now, but if I had a secret ingredient, I could make it even better. Do you have something you think I could use as a secret sort of flavor? How about this? A crisp, fresh apple, just like Ribot's. Mom used to process using her blender in her stomach. She's a robot, I guess. Whoa, yeah, I'll try adding and some of this right away. All right, I got all my ingredients and everything now. Let's get cooking. Okay. So yeah, I've never actually done the Harvest Festival. I think I saw this in Amiibo Festival. But there we go, the first dish there. The mushroom salad is ready to be served. Come and get it, everyone. Thanks to you, I whipped up what might be the greatest salad of my chefly career. The main ingredients were good, but it was a secret ingredient that made it amazing. So thank you for helping me. I'd really like you to have this fruit basket. So there we go, we at least got one of the two very special items. 
You know the thing about you? You've got an eye for ingredients. So what do you say? I'm planning to whip up a soup next. How about if you just stick with me today as my ingredient procurement assistant? Gobble gob. <laughs> if the two of us put our towels together, the people of Goostin are in for the tastiest festival ever. We'll make a heck of a good team. Got a really great feeling about this team up. Okay, then I need some vinegar, skinny mushroom, and a lobster. Good, great. Gobble, gobble. Uh, also, if you wouldn't mind, bring me a secret ingredient, okay? That way, together, we can make the best Tom Yum Gung this town has ever seen. So that one is a lobster, a skinny mushroom, and a uh, and vinegar. Other than the vinegar, I have all that stuff. We also need a coconut, which I think I've got some. Those are mango, right? Yeah. I thought we'd had we had some coconut down here. Yeah, these are the ones. They're the ones that grow on the beach. There we go. So yeah, I already know by jotting down notes just to speed this up a little bit. You can go through the process of discovering this stuff for yourself, but I'm speeding it up a little by making sure that I've got a lot of the ingredients. So all I've got to do is go grab that lobster and see if we can find someone who's home. It might be the same people. Let me see if, if Cranston is still, yep, he's still hanging out. So let me see if we can get some vinegar off of him and hopefully he'll help us out. Everything involves vinegar. This is gonna be maybe not the best meal digestively if every course has that. I love how many cribs he has because he's supposed to be like a stork. Usually I just focus on the eating, but today I decided to give cooking a shot too. Oh yeah, cool guy, do you have a sea bass? Really need the ingredient from the dish I'm making. Bring it to me, I'll give you something else in return. I've got one already. I am prepared, just like a proper cooking show. You gotta be prepared beforehand. Here you go, buddy. The most prevalent fish in the sea, the sea bass. Awesome, thanks cool guy, that's a big help. Turn, I'll give you my sugar. Enjoy it. So hopefully we need sugar later because right now we sure don't. Further thank you, let me give you some advice. He loves mixed salads, but a really good one. Okay. Is he telling us, oh, for a mixed salad, we have to add vinegar, but we already, yeah, we already made a salad. We don't need any salad info until next year, but thanks anyways, Cranston. Okay, I'm going to go grab that lobster, and we'll see if we can find another villager to get some more help from, because I definitely need more vinegar. So because I do only have eight villagers right now, it seems like Cranston, Graham, and Ribot are my only sources of ingredients, but that should make it pretty easy to get the stuff I need, I would hope. Can't like serve my homemade dishes to everyone. Okay, he needs a carp. I have one of those. I actually just caught another one. So let's give that to him. And hopefully he'll have... I already forgot what I... I need vinegar. More vinegar. As much as you can give me, little guy. But yeah, this is a... Uh, it's a little time consuming, like I mentioned. But I think it might be a little easier, I guess, if you have more... There we go. All right. It might be a little easier if you have more villagers. But I have a feeling it's probably the same amount of houses that you can go to for the most part. All right, if we choose fruit as the main ingredient in your salad, so not, okay. They're still talking about salad, and they're talking about <laughs> putting beehives, which seems weird. I guess you could get a little honey from that, but that's probably the weirdest ingredient that is usually a secret ingredient, is the beehive. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine trying to dig into one of those, but we are ready to go make this soup. I've got all the ingredients we need, so let's talk to Franklin here and get it going. Excuse me, Brofina. I'm just walking right into my back. <laughs> She's shadowing the chef. There's nothing like a good soup to soothe the pal after a salad. Think I'll mix some vinegar, a skinny mushroom, and a lobster. And then finally, I'll add the secret ingredient, Brofina. You look a little hungry there. You're gonna catch me in that net to complete the ultimate Tom Young Gung. Bring the ingredients to me at once. She'll collect all of them. All right, so I've got them. Oh, nice, show me, show me. So he just wants these three, and I've got that secret coconut that we need. Hopefully it is the right thing. I didn't have anyone confirm it in town, but <laughs> Rafina, she really is trying to hog the spotlight there, walking around. Maybe she just wants that butterfly. Hey, hey, these are all nice, high-quality ingredients. There's no doubt I can make it a fine Tom Young Kong now. But if I had a secret ingredient, I bet I could make it even better. you have something you think I could use for a secret sort of flavor? How about a coconut? There you go, buddy. Sounds good. So two more dishes after this. Whoa, yeah, I'll try adding some of this right away. All right, I've got all my ingredients and everything now. Let's get cooking. And next we have the main course and then a dessert. So I'm really hoping we get a main course with some easy stuff in it and not like a rare fish. Tom Young Kong is ready to be served. Come and get it, everyone. Thanks to you, I came up with what might be the greatest soup of my chefly career. The main greens were good, but it was a secret ingredient that made things amazing. Thank you for helping me. I'd like to 
have this harvest bureau. So we already got the fruit basket, so now he's starting to give us the harvest stuff. And probably the stuff more likely that we don't have already. i let you know our main dish is a special fish entree. I don't understand how people can use the Harvest Festival as an excuse to eat turkey, so I need some butter, a barred knife jaw, and a round mushroom now. I'm gonna make such an amazing seared barred knife jaw that it'll blow your pants off any old turkey. So that is the one that I really didn't want to get because now we have to go down to the sea and try to find a knife jaw. So I'm going to uh, attempt to gather all those ingredients and maybe I'll catch one. If not, I could probably get all that stuff from my townsfolk. So. I'll see you guys when I've got what we need. Okay, after about an hour of fishing and ingredient gathering, I finally have all the things for the main course. On top of salad and soup, it's finally time for our main fishy dish. I think I'll use some butter, a barred knife jaw, and a round mushroom. Oh, with a secret ingredient to top it off, make the ultimate seared barred knife jaw. Bring the ingredients when you got them all. So the knife jaw, man, that took forever because it doesn't seem like you can really trade for that particular one or just fish in general I think you do have to catch them a lot of the other stuff like mushrooms and vinegar and everything obviously pretty easy to get if you just trade for long enough but there we go that dang fish gave me so much trouble hey hey these are all nice high quality ingredients but no doubt I can make a fine sheared bar knife jaw now I had a sheared ingredient but I could make it even better so we do have a lemon for that which this one actually makes a lot of sense because lemon on fish is really good now, last but not least, we have a dessert. Should be a lot easier because it involves a lot of fruit. All right, I've got all my greens and everything now. Let's get cooking. We're almost done. Man, this event is just so much more involved than I was expecting. I knew there was a lot of stuff to gather, but geez, for the reward, doesn't seem worth it. The Sheared Bar Knife Jaw is ready to be served. Come and get it, everyone. Next year, I came with what we might be the absolute greatest Sheared Bar Knife Jaw of my life. The main ingredients were fine, but it was the secret ingredient that made it really amazing. So thank you for helping me. I'd like, love for you to have this harvest lamp that you could easily purchase for several thousand bells rather than spending tons of your time. But that's okay. We want that cornucopia. So we finally got the main dish out of the way. Whew, such a big relief, you know. Anyway, that means it's time for dessert. Everyone's favorite course? To make it, I'll need some flour, an apple, and a lemon, okay? For those, I can definitely make the best apple pie ever. Good luck on this last food run. So that should be pretty easily, since Cranston over here was just giving me tons and tons of fruit every time I brought him something back. So I'm gonna grab this apple. I definitely have a lemon back at my house, and we are gonna need a beehive and some wheat flour. The beehive shouldn't be too tough. I just have to start shaking trees and hoping that I find the bee. Even if I uh, get stung by them, it's okay. We can still get the beehive. But I do actually have a secret method. We just happened to get apple pie, and I was thinking, you know, maybe we should try something out here. So I've got the fruit basket. This was the one reward. That's the harvest bureau. So just a you know common thing you can get in Timmy and Tommy's. But I'm gonna try something here. We need some apple pie. I wonder if we can just Wish on Wisp. I had this ready just on the off chance the one out of five desserts I got happened to be apple pie because we're gonna have some help from Apple, the hamster. <laughs> hey, 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 did you contact my agent first? Oh, whatever. <clears throat> Whoa, do I sound just like apple or what? So this little chubby cheeks, this is not a villager. I'll probably invite to live here. It's a peppy little hamster, but let's get something. I know this is ab absolutely of no help for making an apple pie, but, oh, a Corinthian post, thank you. How can you lift that with your tiny hamster paws? Look at that little gal. She's just adorable, but also a little creepy at the same time. Okay, after that distraction, let me grab what I need. I think we do have a lemon stored in here. My secret storeroom carrying all this stuff. There we go, I've got a lemon. I'm gonna put away that post and and my harvest lamp, because we don't really need it. You guys can see the harvest lamp if you want. Let me pick that up and exchange it for the lamp here. So yeah, it's all very turkey themed. It looks like a weird turkey foot under turkey feathers, I guess. I don't know, not my favorite set. Let me go get the ingredients and we'll make that dessert to finish up. I'm looking for bees, but I found fleas. Ganon has fleas. <sighs> Getting tired. You shouldn't push yourself too much either. Make sure you take a break every so often, all right? I care about you, even though I am trying to destroy this entire world. There we go, we got it off of him. 
You're okay, buddy. Whoa, you got it, Adam. I think we're jumping all around making me dizzy. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Tried to give him a little laugh, like on the NES Zelda 2 and when you die. Return of Ganon. Bees? Ah! There we go. All right. Don't really need them, but I do need the hive. It's weird, because usually I just want the bee, because it's worth so much more. But there's our secret ingredient. Take my dab, Cranston, and don't make an outdated reference, please. Give me flour. There we go. Okay, we got all the ingredients. It's even got its own custom little bag. Oh, hey. He's going to give me a hint that we need a beehive. I still don't, I don't know. If anyone out there has ever cooked with a beehive, let me know, because I want to know if that's an actual thing or they just threw that in there, because obviously bees are a big, iconic part of Animal Crossing. All right, so after... Probably a couple hours here. I'm finally done with this. I could say, you know, prepping did help me a little bit because I had a lobster already, but a lot of this stuff, you just kind of have to go with whatever they want. For the final part of the meal, most important course, dessert. I'll make an apple pie. Should be overly complicated. Need a few things. All right. And I've got all of it as well as your weird beehive. Here we go. This is going to be it, and hopefully we get something good, namely the cornucopia. Oh, wait. Oh, what happened? The beehive. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, ho hopefully he's, uh, no, no, no. All right, I was going to make sure he wouldn't throw that in. For some reason, I thought I picked the wrong thing there. I, I do have all the right stuff, right? The wheat, or is it wheat flour and not flour? I might have just clicked. Where is it? Okay, it's over there. I, I didn't see it there. I'm not used to seeing flour in my inventory. There we go. Sorry about that. That fish is looking really tasty. I was hungry before I started recording, which is horrible to do on Thanksgiving. Kind of saving my, my stomach for later. Hey, hey, these are all nice. All right. Apple pie. I do have that secret ingredient. Here you go. You already saw it already. I spoiled it for you, Franklin. There we are. Now get out of my town after you make a delicious pie. Whoa, yeah. All right. And this is going to be it. The last Let's Get Cooking. Probably won't do this again next year, but... It was a nice experience to, to try to complete 100%. The apple pie is ready to be served. Come and get it, everyone. Thanks you. I came up with what might be the greatest, absolute greatest apple pie of my life. The main greens were good. It's ingredient. Yep. Said this a couple times already. Woo, I'm beat. I even know it's kind of cold out. I still worked up a sweat cooking for the festival. But we got through all courses of the meal. I'll bet everyone's quite satisfied with the results. But really, it was all thanks to your help that everything turned out so perfectly. The ingredients were top-notch, and showed me a thing or two about secret ingredient selection. Therefore, go ahead and take this cornucopia off my hands and sink. Gobble, gobble. There we go. All right. Thanks for everything today, and have a great harvest festival. See ya. So he's just gonna hang out here. Can I eat this stuff? That looks like a big old ego, but it does it does seem like an apple pie. <laughs> it's got the cross hatching. A full course meal you and I put together. I think it'll be a huge hit with the people of Gooston to think not long ago. I was deathly afraid of forks and knives. I'll eat with my fingers, thank you. Okay. Phew, man, that was a lot of work. <laughs> but I am happy I got that cornucopia. Let's finish up by going and seeing what it looks like. I think it's probably worth a good amount of points in the house, but if they revamp the Harvest Festival for Animal Crossing Switch or whatever is, is on the way, I definitely think they need to add a better set of rewards because with Halloween, you have to jump through a lot of hoops, but at least you get the creepy set. You're not only getting the spooky set and like one or two extra things. There's just so much more for Halloween that makes it worth it. I do have this letter from Brofina. Let's read this real quick. My dear Adam, you might think it would be embarrassing by my messy handwriting. This is day and age. I've outweighed by how impressed I am that I still handwrite my letter. Okay. She basically wrote me a letter to pat herself on the back for writing letters. Let's throw that down. There it is. All right. The cornucopia. Was it worth it? I don't know. You guys tell me. Thanks for watching. And please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let me know if, uh, you know, there's other stuff you want to see around town because... We have covered most of the content here in the update. We do have more villagers and stuff to meet. There's plenty of stuff to do still. But I want to know what you guys want to see in terms of villagers. Let's spin that beautiful cornucopia. <laughs> that horn full of a bounty of fruit and veggies. So yeah, if you did miss the secret storeroom or any of the, the stuff included in the Welcome Amiibo update, definitely check that out. We went back to kind of vanilla Animal Crossing a little bit here to have the Harvest Festival, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for more New Leaf. Goodbye.